night. In the South, uh, he knows who the man is, the man up there on the hill in the big white house. And when he comes to a city like Chicago, uh, it's much harder to determine who that man is. Such a complex society. It's a different man who controls the house from the man who controls the job, from the man who controls the welfare, from the man uh, who controls the hospital, from the man who controls the school. And I think what's happening is that he comes rather quickly to the conclusion that the man is all the white men. Not being able to discern his specific captor, he decides that all people with white faces are his captors. And to the degree that all white people are engaged in supporting the systems of separation and racist institutions that we have in the North, that judgment is basically accurate. How do these institutions function in a racial way? When we develop any kind of a system that by definition excludes people who are poor, inner city, limited education people, we are saying black only. We might as well put the sign back up because it's the same thing, same bag. The problem that we have in white America is that most white people when they hear about white racism, well, most, most white people say, man, that's not me. I never discriminated against anybody. Never did. And in their sense of what discrimination means or what racism is, they may be right. But they sit residing in a system from which they take full benefit, a system that defines them in. And and defines black people out, we are going to have to face the fact that we are not a community. A community is where a lot of people develop mutually beneficial relationships with each other. And our racist institutions and the political boundaries of our cities define black people out of the community. White people sit in their suburban homes and watch their television programs and hear about all of these uh, laws that are being passed. Many of them are beginning to uh, wonder, uh, well, what is it with those colored people on there? Why, why are they so upset, all this, all this wonderful stuff that we're doing for them? But we aren't focusing on the black man living on the block. He lives in a, in a, uh, a two-flat on that block. And he knows what the circumstance on that block was 10 years ago. And he knows what it is today. And he, too, has heard about all of those programs and laws being passed. But the hard fact of the matter is that things are not changing for him. It's no wonder that the white population and the black population are pitted against each other when the black man knows that the change is not coming and the white man thinks that major efforts are being undertaken when they are not. So I don't think anybody should be surprised when one sees the black people in an open attack on the system because I, I suspect that they don't see that there is any other realistic alternative.